plug for all right this line it's not welcome back to mr jdm and in today's video we're going to remove the evap system from a 1990 civic wagon um, i'm pretty sure this will be the same for all efs and probably uh accords and um integras of all the pretty much the same years up until like 92 and even after that it might be very similar to this i did a lot of research and i couldn't find any actual videos of somebody removing this except from a uh, 2000 prelude which there was a lot of things that are different than what is on the 90 uh, civic wagon so i asked around on uh, facebook groups uh, ef nation and civic wagon Dot com and uh, they answered all my questions so uh, I appreciate it thank you for your help and support and we'll get on with this video here shortly but before we do that I am going to talk about a website that I've created it's called streetsfirst.com it is the first social media platform for car enthusiasts Streets First has photo albums groups pages a marketplace events, memories, and fundings. Just like any other social media platform, it is complete and it is for car enthusiasts only. You can create groups, join groups, you have pages where you can create a page if you're a business or you have a product that you want to sell. There is a product page and this page shows you everything that you have for sale and of course the marketplace is especially important for car enthusiasts. And then we have fundings, which is pretty much just like GoFundMe. You can create a fundraising event. And then obviously we have events. So you can create events here. If you have a car show or a meet, you can create your event here. And then you have your news feed. You can select everybody or just the people you follow. And then obviously you have your home news feed where you can post anything you want, what's going on today, what have you done to your build. And if you choose to, you can upgrade to a pro version, which you'll have some benefits of being a pro membership. All the money collected from pro version memberships will go directly back into the development of streetsverse.com and if you're a business or you want to advertise you can advertise you just add money to your wallet then you can create a campaign and your advertisements will show up on the news feed and in groups obviously I want to keep it car related products only in the advertisements but if you're a company that sells aftermarket products or you're just a regular guy that 3d prints you know plastic parts for whatever car you can choose to advertise it you can click on the explore tab and you can explore all the users all the pages and all the groups streets first is the first social media platform for car enthusiasts please check it out and make it your home for all of your car enthusiasts social networking needs all right so today we're going to do a charcoal canister delete and what this basically does is it takes the fumes from the vent the fuel tank vent it takes them back into the canister it traps them into the canister and then when your car reaches a certain rpm or creates a certain vacuum then the purge valve opens and then spits those fumes back into the intake. That way it doesn't dump uh, gasoline fumes into the, the atmosphere. And depending on what state you live in, depends on whether you can do this or not, because if you have smog testing, you will not pass if you remove this. But I live in Kentucky and I don't need to worry about it. So I'm just gonna purge all the shit into the atmosphere and kill the environment because you know I'm nice like that 
But anyway, what we need to do is we're going to remove all of this stuff. The lines, the purge valve. This is the map sensor. But we're going to use this map sensor. And I'll probably have to extend this line a little bit or do something to make it reach better. I mean, it reaches, but it's... It's like super tight and I don't really like the way that looks. This is the uh, electrical plug for the purge valve for the EVAP system. Oh, you can just clip this off or whatever. It doesn't matter. It won't cause a engine code to pop up or at least that's what I've been told. Anyway, let's uh, get started. The first thing we're going to do is remove the purge valve and the map sensor there's one 10 mil nut or bolt fastener and then this should just slide right off and it does then you have these vacuum lines we can just disconnect those all right now we can disconnect the uh the fuel um, vent line. All right, this line right here is like a like a moisture um, vent, I guess. Any moisture that gets into the tank, the canister, it'll just drain, and it goes into like the frame rail somewhere. That's it, man. I mean, really, very simple. Now, if you do not have a map sensor on top of your throttle body and you want to retain this map sensor, you can remove this purge valve section and get rid of that and then plug your map sensor you can get rid of this purge valve section right here along with this vacuum line and then retain this and keep this part and plug this one into the intake manifold but we're getting rid of the whole thing because we have a map sensor right here all right, so that cleans the engine bay up quite a bit. Um, now your fuel vent will create fumes in the engine bay. So what you wanna do is you wanna get a line and run it down the firewall and out underneath. At the moment, I can't find a vacuum line long enough to fit from here to there. So we're just gonna have to wait on that. But that's basically how you remove the EVAP system on a uh, EF Honda Civic sedan, wagon, CRX. All right, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's pretty much it. That, that's it, really. It's not too complex. Um, I, hope I, ever, I hope I explained everything the way it should. I could be wrong on some things, but from what I've researched and what I've found and read and the answers that I've gotten from questions I've posted this is everything but it cleans up the engine bay quite a bit it looks a lot nicer I wish this bracket right here was you were able to unscrew it but it's whatever and when I was tightening this down I broke that off so I need to go to the junkyard to get a new one because the rest of the, the the bolt is stuck inside of it and I can't get it out. But I need to go there anyway to get some lines for, or to get a clip for the multi-point uh, injection conversion. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. And I would like to thank everybody at, uh, I think it's EF Nation and Civic Wagon uh, Facebook groups for helping me and explaining what needs to be done. Thanks again, I appreciate it.